In GCP, there are a couple of options for VPN. And one of them is we have like dynamic routes, and then usually it's it's through BGP, and we also have route-based option, which is static, and we also have policy-based. Now we're going to focus more on static version of this. So in the static version, or in the GCP option, you'll have route-based. We basically specify what remote network um, that we need to route through the tunnel. The way it works is that when you create a tunnel, you specify this remote network, and GCP will route the traffic, any traffic destined to that IP address, through that destination IP address, will be routed through the tunnel. This is quite good if we have a small network and we don't have intentions to add new subnets. Imagine, imagine that you have a huge network where you keep adding a lot of subnets to the VPC. Well, in that case, you would have to add each and every single subnet into that remote network before you create them. After you create the tunnel, you cannot add more routes to it. So that's really not very helpful if it's a huge network. That's the only problem with the static network. But it is a good option for a small network where we know that you're not going to add more networks to it. Let's get to the integration part of it. I have two instances, GCP server and on-prem one. Both of them are in different VPC networks. Our objective is to make them communicate with static route through VPN. Let me access that. At the moment, we have an internal IP and an external IP. Let me check if we are able to communicate with the public IP of of the instance. Okay, that part seems to work. So from GCP server, let me try to access the private IP of on-prem one. As expected, we don't have a tunnel, so and it's private network, we can't access it. Now let's connect to the other instance, which is on-prem one. Let's see if we are able to reach the public IP of GCP server. This should work since this is a public IP. Okay, this works. But if we try to ping the private IP of the GCP server from the on-prem one, it will not work, it won't go through. To configure the VPN, navigate to hybrid connectivity and the VPN option. We are going to create two VPN tunnel, one from the GCP server to on-prem one and the other from on-prem one to the GCP server. In this way, we have bidirectional communication. Let's click on create, select the classic VPN option, and from the GCP server is on US Central Region. And I'll select the right network, which is GCP VPC. We need a static IP address. I've already created one. You, you have an option to create on the fly or on the go. Right now, I have selected IKVV2 and route based. Here, I'll specify the remote networks. Let me go find out what is the remote network. From GCP server, the remote network that we want to reach is 10.1.3.2. So I'm going to give that subnet, 10.1.3.0.24. We need a few more things to configure. 
we have to give the public IP of the remote peer adders. And that's why I asked when I first mentioned we will create another we have another tab where we will create a static IP address for the on prem one. And on prem one I have uh, I have it in a different region. Europe West. I already have a static IP. And I'm gonna use this IP address. I'm gonna fill this in the GCP server part uh, as a remote peer IP. Just gotta rename this because uh, uh, let me change this to VPN 2. Okay, I'll fill in a few things here. I am gonna use a password, preacher key. GCP rocks and okay, I'm gonna make sure I fill in the right information on both both uh, peer connections. From here, I specify the, the remote network that I need to reach so that I have bi-directional communication. Okay, now, let me remember this. I'm going to type in the remote peer IP address. This is the static IP address of the GCP server. Please note, this is the on-prem one. Let's go back to GCP server. Let me make sure the IP is correct. Seems to be right. Okay. Um, looks good. Let's go back to the GCP server. We have to fill in the remote PRI address. Alright, let me fill in that part. Okay, here's the IP of on-prem. Okay. 35.25.18.251. Okay, that seems to be right. Okay, now let me type in the pre-shared key. Okay, I just want to double check that. It seems to be good. Alright, all the settings seems to be good. I hit create. Let me create the other one as well. Let's wait for the GCP to create these. I keep refreshing to see if we got the tunnel up. So usually it takes a bit of time. Oh, it's up and running. It's already established. Based on the settings, now we should have bidirectional communication between the private IPs of the GCP server and the on-prem one. Let me try to ping the IP address. Alright, let me try to ping... Oh, as expected, this is functional. We're able to reach the remote peer's private IP address. Let me do the similar tests for Okay, I'm from on from one. Let's try to ping the private IP on the GCP server. Alright, it's completely functional. Thanks for watching guys.